Time beautiful guys and gals, Taylor here. Uh, welcome back to my series, Reading Time with Taylor. And before I tell you what book we're reading tonight, I want to apologize for not doing this uh, for a while. Um, I have been busy not only with my other gameplays, but I've also been busy with other things going on in life as well. But anyway, uh, tonight we are gonna be we are gonna continue to read the Pokemon Deluxe Handbook. And I scouted ahead, and uh, I'm actually gonna be reading two sections because both of these sections are fairly short. Tonight we are going to be reading sections V and W, so let's begin. Vanillite, the fresh snow Pokemon. When the sun rose and cast its light on icicles, Vanillite were created. With their icy breath, they can surround themselves with snow showers. Cute little thing, don't you think? Vanillish, the icy snow Pokemon, and the evolved form of Vanillite. Vanillish live in snow-covered mountains and battle using particles of ice they create by chilling the air around them. Vanillux, the snowstorm Pokemon, the evolved form of Vanillish, and the final evolved form of Vanillite. From the water it gulps down, Vanillux creates snowy storm clouds inside its body. When it becomes angry, it uses those clouds to form a raging blizzard. Bit scary, don't you think? Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon, and an evolved form of Eevee. With its gills and fins, Vaporeon has adapted to an aquatic life. It can control its watery habitat with ease. Venipede, the centipede Pokemon. Venipede uses the feelers at both ends of its body to explore its surroundings. It's extremely aggressive and its bite is poisonous. Don't mess with Venipede. Venonat, the insect Pokemon. Venonat's large, sensitive eyes pick up even the tiniest movement. The stiff hair that covers its body protects it from harm. Well, besides, um, uh, besides, uh, Caterpie, Metapod, and the Butterfree family, I guess you could say, uh, Venonat was actually, is actually my second, uh, favorite bug type in Gen 1. Anyway. Venomoth, the poison moth Pokemon, and the evolved form of Venonat. When they become active after dark, Venomoth are often drawn to street lamps. It isn't the light that attracts them, but the promise of food. Yeah, I have used a Venomoth, and actually my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee playthrough on my own time. Venomoth actually turned out to be a very useful Pokemon. Venusaur, the seed Pokemon, and the finally evolved form of Bulbasaur. When Venusaur is well nourished and spends enough time in the sun, the flower on its back is brightly colored. The blossom gives off a soothing scent. And here's Mega Venusaur. He looks pretty badass if you ask me. Vespaquin, the beehive Pokemon, and the evolved form of a female Combi. Vespa Queen controls the colony that lives in its honeycomb body by releasing pheromones. It feeds the colony with honey provided by Combi. Yes, I found out that you only get Vespa Queen if, uh, if you evolve, if your Combi is female, which I, which is kind of, which kind of makes sense if you think about it, but also it's kind of stupid. Anyway, Vibrava, the vibration Pokemon, and the evolved form of Trapinch. Vibrava's wings aren't strong enough to fly very far, but it can vibrate them to produce ultrasonic waves that could give anyone listening a bad headache. Who here? Victini, the victory Pokemon, a mythical Pokemon. According to myth, Victini can bring victory in any kind of competition. Because it creates unlimited energy, it can share the overflow with others. Isn't the Victini the cutest thing? I just want to give it a hug, to be honest. Anyway. <laughs> Victory Bell. The Flycatcher Pokemon. The evolved... And the final evolved form of Bellsprout. Victory Bell uses its long vine like a fishing lure, swishing and flicking it to draw prey closer to its gaping mouth. Don't mess with Victory Bell. Vigoroth. The wild monkey Pokemon and the evolved form of Slackoth. Vigoroth just can't sit still. If it spends too much time inactive, it gets stressed out and goes on a rampage. It doesn't sleep very well. Well, no duh. 
vile plume, the flower Pokemon, and an evolved form of plume. Many people are terribly allergic to the poisonous pollen vile plume gives off. The petals of its flower are truly enormous. Yeah, no. Verizian, the grassland Pokemon, a legendary. According to legend, Verizian can move so swiftly that its opponents are left bewildered. Its horns are lovely and graceful and as sharp as blades. Vivian, the scale Pokemon, the evolved form of Spupa, and the final evolved form of Scatterbug. The colorful patterns of Vivian's wings are determined by the Pokemon's habitat. Vivian from different parts of the world have different wing patterns. Volbeat, the firefly Pokemon. When night falls, Volbeat flashes the light on its tail in different patterns to send messages to others. It follows the sweet scent of Illumise. Volcarona, the sun Pokemon, and the evolved form of Larvesta. The scales that cover Volcarona's six wings are like embers, and it scatters them to engulf the battlefield in flames. Its fire shines as bright as the sun. Now, Volcarona is a really good Pokemon to use, but unfortunately I had to catch it. I got to catch one so late in the game, you know, it was kind of useless, but it has, still has some pretty good moves. Voltorb, the ball Pokemon. Voltorb looks a lot like a Pokeball and was first spotted at a Pokeball factory. What's the connection? Nobody knows. Mm. Volibi, the diapered Pokemon. Volibi's wings aren't yet big enough to carry it through the air. The bones it wears around its lower half are gathered by Mandibuzz. Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. Vulpix starts its life with a single tail that splits into six as it grows. The fire inside its body is continuously burning. Alright, time for section W. Whalmer, the ball whale Pokemon. Whalmer is so round because it stores seawater inside its body. It can use this water to inflate itself for higher bounces or shoot the water from its nostrils. Ugh, sounds gross. Lord, the float whale Pokemon and the evolved form of Whalemore, Whalemur. The enormous Whale Lord makes its home in the open sea, where it swims with its mouth open to gather food. Sometimes it leaps out of the water, crashing back down with a massive splash. Walrein, the icebreak Pokemon, and the final evolved form of Spiel. Walrein's giant tusks are capable of smashing through icebergs. Its thick blubber keeps it warm in frigid seas and it's great for fending off hits in battle. Nah. Oh, I think a lot of it was... Well, besides Body Slam, but... Oh, I'm thinking of the... It was either the first season or... Yeah, it was the second season of Pokemon, where Ash was in the competition, and he's had a little girl named Katie, and her final Pokemon was Walrein. And three of the moves it knew were, well, one of them anyway. Ice Beam, that's not on here. Uh, Mimic, not on there either, which is stupid. Uh, what else? The only, hold on. <sighs> the only move I see that's on here that it did have was Body Slam, so, like I said, illegal top moves here. Anyway, sorry, I've gambled on long enough. War Turtle, the turtle Pokemon, and the evolved form of Squirtle. The fur on War Turtle's tail darkens with age. Its shell bears the scratches of many battles. And the evolved form of Patrat. Watch out can make its stripes and eyes glow in the dark. Its tail stands up straight to alert others when it spots an intruder. Uh, excuse me. Weavile, the sharp claw Pokemon, and the evolved form of Sneasel. In, in the snowy places where they live, Weavile communicate with others in the area by leaving carvings and tree trunks. 
They work together to hunt for food. Weedle, the hairy bug Pokemon. Weedle's sense of smell is excellent. With its large red nose, it can sniff out the leaves it likes best. Nice. Weepin' Bell, the flycatcher Pokemon and the evolved form of Bellsprout. The hooked stem behind his head lets Weepin' Bell hang from a tree branch to sleep. Sometimes it falls on the ground during the night. Weezing, the poison gas Pokemon and the evolved form of Coughing. Rotting food gives off a noxious gas that attracts wheezing. Its twin bodies take tur takes turns inflating and deflating to keep its poisonous gases churning. Whimsicott, the wind wild Pokemon and the evolved form of Cottony. Where the winds whirl, Whimsicott appears, slipping into homes through the tiniest cracks and playing tricks on people. The white fluff they leave behind sometimes gives them away. Whirlipede Pokemon, an evolved form of Venipede. Covered in a sturdy shell, Whirlipede doesn't move much unless it's attacked. Then it leaves it to action, spinning at high velocity and smashing into the attacker. Ouch. Whiskash, the Whiskers Pokemon, an evolved form of Barboach. If you get too close to a pond where a whisk Whiskash lives, it might thrash so violently to protect its territory that it sets off an earthquake. It can, it can also sense when a regular earthquake is coming. Whismur, the Whisper Pokemon. When Whismur isn't in trouble, the noises it's, it makes are very quiet. As soon as danger approaches, it, so, it sounds an ear-splitting wail. Wigglytuff, the Balloon Pokemon. The evolved form of Jigglypuff and the final evolved form of Igglybuff. A protective coating of tears that covers Wigglytuff's enormous eyes, keeping the dust away. It can suck in air to inflate its flexible body until it resembles a balloon. Wingle, the seagull Pokemon. With its long wings, Wingle, Wingle can catch updrafts from the sea and glide across the sky as if on skates. It hides food and other treasures in various places. Wobbuffet, the patient Pokemon. Relying on its powers of endurance, Wobbuffet prefers not to attack unless a foe goes after its tail. Then it unleashes a powerful counter strike. Woobat, the bat Pokemon. When Woobat attaches itself to something, it leaves a heart shaped mark with its nose. The nose is also a source of its echolocation signals. Wooper, the waterfish Pokemon. Though Wooper usually live in the water, they sometimes come to ashore to look for food. To protect their bodies, they cover themselves with a sticky substance that is poisonous to the touch. Wormadam, the bagwork Pokemon, plant cloak, and the evolved form of a female Burmy. The cloak it wore as Burmy becomes a permanent part of Wormadam's body. Its appearance is determined by surroundings at the time of evolution. Wormadam, Sandy Cloak, the bagworm Pokemon. If you want a bug at ground type Wormadam, make sure your Burmy has a Sandy Cloak. Once Burmy evolves, there's no going back. Okay, three moves are normally learned, but one illegal. Ignore my talking to myself. Sorry, guys. Wormadam, Trash Cloak, the Bagworm Pokemon. Looking for a Wormadam with the awesome Steel type moves? You'll need to evolve a Burmy with a Trash Cloak. Wormpool, the Worm Pokemon. With the spikes on its tail, Wormpool strips away tree bark to get a delicious sap underneath. The spikes also come in handy when fending off an attacker. Why not? The bright Pokemon. If a why not is smacking its tail against the ground, that means it's angry, regardless of the big smile on its face. Alright guys, that is, um, those were sections V and W. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!